Now to the war of words erupting between Donald Trump and Pope Francis. Trump firing back tonight after comments made by the Pope. The Pope was asked on his plane about Trump's plan to build a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. The Pope saying the notion is not Christian. Trump immediately blasting the Pope, calling his words, quote, disgraceful. ABC's chief foreign correspondent Terry Moran was on the Pope's plane, and here was the moment. On board the papal airplane, a stunning moment. La Casa Bianca Repubblicano, Donald Trump. Pope Francis asked directly about Donald Trump's plans to build a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border and deport millions of undocumented immigrants, speaking from the heart. A person who thinks only about building walls wherever they may be and not of building bridges is not Christian, the Pope said, adding pointedly, this man is not Christian if he has said things like that. A staggering papal denunciation, and it came after a week of Francis in Mexico again and again preaching a highly charged political message. Like those scenes in Juarez, a few feet from the U.S. border, Francis giving his blessing across the Rio Grande to undocumented immigrants in the U.S. and then demanding that more be done for all desperate migrants. No más muerte ni No more death. No more exploitation, he pleaded. And Terry Moran is with us live from the Vatican tonight. Terry, this is a pope who seems to choose his words very carefully. Did the pope intend to put himself in the middle of this presidential race? David, you're right. He knew exactly what he was doing. Francis knows who Trump is. He's following these issues. They're very close to his heart. But the Pope also told us he's not trying to be political. He's not supporting a candidate or a policy. He's trying to remind politicians and voters of what he believes are the teachings of Jesus Christ. David? Terry Moran, live in Vatican City tonight. Terry, thank you. And now let's get right to Donald Trump and his message for the Pope tonight. And it wasn't just Trump, because other Republican candidates, some who've supported the idea of a wall, were left to respond to the Pope, too, and they did. ABC's Tom Yamas in South Carolina for us tonight. It was a headline that surprised even Donald Trump. They said, Mr. Trump, the Pope made a statement about you. I said, the Pope? <laughs> what did the Pope say? I like the Pope. I mean, was it good or bad? It wasn't good. He actually said that maybe I'm not a good Christian or something. It's unbelievable, which is really not a nice thing to say. Trump then turning up the volume. For a religious leader to question a person's faith is disgraceful. I'm proud to be a Christian. No leader, especially a religious leader, should have the right to question another man's religion or faith. The billionaire candidate accusing Mexico of using Pope Francis as a, quote, pawn in the debate over immigration and border security. If and when the Vatican is attacked by ISIS, which, as everyone knows, is ISIS's ultimate trophy, I can promise you that the Pope would have only wished and prayed that Donald Trump would have been president. For good measure, the Trump team even tweeting this image of the Vatican, showing it's surrounded by walls. Here in South Carolina, Trump has recently himself questioned the Christian faith of his rival, Senator Ted Cruz. I've never seen anybody that lied as much as Ted Cruz. And he goes around saying he's a Christian. But today, Cruz wasn't picking sides. Listen, that's between Donald and the Pope. I'm not going to get in the middle of that. I'll leave it to the two of them to work. Do you think it's unchristian to have a border wall? Cruz also favors a border wall. Do you think that's unchristian to build a border wall? Senator, the border wall, do you think that's unchristian? And repeatedly dodged me as I tried to get his response to the Pope's comments. Senator, do you think a border wall is unchristian? I, I'm going to visit with the voters now. Thank you. Senator Marco Rubio, who is himself Catholic, praised the Pope. And I have tremendous respect and, and admiration for him. But Rubio making it clear he and the Holy Father disagree on immigration. But we're a sovereign country, and we have a right to control who comes in, when they come in, and how they come in. And tonight, Jeb Bush, also a Catholic, saying this. I don't question anybody's Christianity because I honestly believe that that's a relationship that you have with your creator. And Tom Yamas with us live from South Carolina tonight. And Tom, some well-known conservative voices coming to Donald Trump's defense after the Pope's comments. That's right, David. Just behind me, Donald Trump is wrapping up his event here in Gaffney, South Carolina. But you're right. Some influential conservatives defending Donald Trump tonight, saying, quote, this was Rush Limbaugh. Given the Pope's political leanings, I'm surprised he isn't on the campaign trail for Bernie Sanders.